My name is Bart Dunaway with ATI Automation Technology. Uh, we strive to be the global leader in customized valve automation. And today I'm going to show you a feature on our actuator called the JS2 Manual Override. Um, first thing you want to see here is our standard actuator. It's linear. It's also mounted to a valve, much like you would see out in the field or on a pipeline. Our actuators are, uh, have electrical panels so they can remotely be opened and closed. Um, but let's say the power goes out and you no longer have power to do that, that's when your JS2 manual override comes into play. Uh, first thing you want to see is our hand wheel. Uh, a lot of times, hand wheels are going to be mounted on to the top of the actuator. So this can be a problem because this is one of the smaller actuators. The larger they get, the taller they are. Um, also, the taller the actuator usually means the taller or the higher the valve is going to be sitting. So when they're mounted together, you're going to get quite a large actuator. If you have to get up and uh, use this hand wheel, you're usually going to have to get up in a ladder or some kind of device, a lifting device. You could be 15 to 20 feet up in the air. Um, with ours, it's right here on the bottom of our bracket. So once it's mounted to a valve, it's usually right here where it's user friendly, like in this case. So here you have your engagement pin, which is going to be used to go through the thrust block, which is right here, this brass piece. It will then lock into our coupling block, which is used to raise and lower the valve. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and engage the pin simply by turning clockwise. Okay, so there. Now we have our engagement pin fully engaged into our coupling block. At this point, you're free to use the hand wheel, and it will open and close your valve. Right now, our valve is at the closed position. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open um, the valve now with the hand wheel. And as you can see, this device is a gear driven. So the gears inside here are running up and down. Okay, so we're about a quarter of the way open. Uh, I want to talk about the parts that are inside the JS2. Um, all of our parts inside this JS2 are going to be brass, or they're going to be stainless, or they're going to be phosphate coated. And what this is good for, it's for the good uh, severe weather or severe service that is going to be out. This will be protected in the weather and they'll stand out for a long time. And last but not least, um, another safety factor on the JS2 manual override. Once this pin is engaged, it is stopped. The valve is not going to move. The valve is where it's going to be unless you move it with this hand wheel. Then you're good. you can take off your cylinder and you can replace all of your seals inside this actuator. It's a good feature. That way you're not having to take it off the valve or anything like that. This allows you to do all your maintenance work while it's still mounted on the valve and the valve will stand in place. So that pretty much covers our JS2 manual override as far as its purpose and some of the safety factors that it has. Um, if you have any questions, you can go to our website, www.atiactuators.com, uh, or you can click the link below. Thank you.